Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Sean here, and today I got some Sonic Generations gameplay for you guys. And reason why I'm not posting, you know, anything Call of Duty related or anything, you know, FPS competitive related, it's just because I decided I would, you know, sit down and just talk about something different today. I really haven't, like, you know, gone on my way to just make a commentary that's not really related to uh, popular games in a while, just a straight up commentary, uh, chill sessions, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, just relaxing, talking about something as uh, something else different. Uh, but anyway, today what I want to, sorry, what I wanted to talk about is, uh, you know, what, what the next killer app will be. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say a killer app, but just, just basically what the next most popular game is going to be. Uh, so obviously now Call of Duty, whether you like it or not, um, it is ba basically the biggest game out there right now. It is the most popular title in entertainment, really. Like everyone I know basically knows what call of duty is even like my grandpa uh and grandma like they know what call of duty is and they're like uh, 70 and 80 years old so uh call of duty is easily you know the biggest thing biggest thing in entertainment not just video games nowadays so how's that going to change uh i just wanted to talk about that today like how, do, you, do you think there's going to be another you know video game any other single series any other single title that will stomp on uh call of duty that will become bigger than call of duty and basically make uh, Call of Duty just completely um, you know irrelevant in a couple of years so of course first thing I want to talk about is just Call of Duty itself and like what I think it will be in the future well um, I don't think Call of Duty will ever necessarily die it's it'll never like you know become out of phase just because of how damn big it is like I said basically everyone knows what Call of Duty is now and it's just <laughs> it's basically like a household term like um, yeah, no one, no one I know doesn't know what Call of Duty is. So basically, I don't think Call of Duty will necessarily die. Like I always think, I think there will always be, uh, you know, few fans out there, people that actually still enjoy playing the game. And for it's online, I don't think, um, I don't think, sorry, I don't think anyone will ever stop playing it unless Activision decides to uh, turn off its servers eventually. But I think for Call of Duty, there will always be people playing it online. Uh, it just won't be as the popular, the most popular game anymore, but it will ne never necessarily die like some really popular games in the past. Alright, so now let's actually talk about what I think will be, you know, the next killer app, the next top seller, whatever you really want to call it. Again, I, I wouldn't really call it killer app because killer app is like more, um, what's it called, specifically for one platform. You know, Halo is obviously uh, an Xbox killer app, Uncharted is a PS3 killer app, uh, but you know, that's more, that's more opinionated. Some other games, you know, some people might like more than others. So what I think would be the next killer app, well first things first, uh, we're definitely going to need a new generation. There's no way uh, something in this gen can topple Call of Duty, there's uh, there's absolutely no, no way that can happen. And anyone that think uh, that something can topple Call of Duty in this gen, they're just lying to themselves, really. It's, it's not going to happen. Uh, there's a lot of people that do that, actually, in comments. They're like, oh, uh, oh, this game will be Call of Duty, or this game will be Call of Duty, whatever. Uh, it never actually beats <laughs> it. Uh, it. It becomes pretty irrelevant, actually, a couple months afterwards. Um, but anyway, back on topic, yeah. Uh, if we want a new system seller, a new best seller, there's definitely going to have to be a new gen, and people definitely need to take advantage of it, like, right away before um before you know other companies do the same thing like uh you know do the same uh sa same story uh, s s sorry fuck i can't speak at all right now uh same you know style of gameplay like same fps same genre whatever you want to call it uh, i think people need to branch out into different genres that's for one thing. Uh, I, I personally don't think the next system seller will be a shooter. Uh, I think everybody will eventually get bored of shooters, even though it has become pretty, you know, prevalent in like the past five years, like with Call of Duty 4, of course, that started it all. Uh, but you know, another really popular title that was out on the market, but uh, and actually a good amount of people thought it would have been, you know, the system seller kind of thing because it was more uh, relevant for groups of people. It's uh, it's more fun. It's more targeted to everyone instead of just you know shooters. Uh, rock band. That's uh, that's basically what I'm talking about. You know music games, uh, rhythm music games, whatever you want to call them. Uh, everyone thought that was going to become you know really prevalent for the next couple of years, but we all saw that it died pretty damn quickly in like two three years really it's just because you know I, um if you guys have been with me for a long time uh, you guys might know that i actually did start uh start out on rock band or sorry started youtube with rock band and guitar hero mainly with music games if you actually go look back at my old catalog of 
what's it called videos i still have all my rock band videos there for your uh, viewing pleasure if you guys want to go take a look at that uh but yeah basically the music industry or the music um game industry died out really damn fast just because of you know, it, it limits people. People don't have the room or the money to spend uh, on, you know, the instruments and all the stuff you need to get for the game. And one, one of the main reasons why I think COD is just still so damn popular is just because all you really need is just a controller and then you can have a great time on it. And that's exactly what... Uh, what's it called developers need to do if they want to be Call of Duty. They need something that people can just pick up and play and still have a lot of fun with. You know, in my personal opinion, I think personally the next uh, killer app will be something along the lines of an MMO. And, uh, you know, MMOs aren't a new thing by, you know, any stretch of means. But uh, for consoles, MMOs really haven't caught on yet just because of, you know, again, limitations. But uh, here's hoping that the next generation of consoles will be more open-ended, more open source. Maybe people can actually, you know, develop their own things on it just like a PC. Uh, again, it's still a console, so it's definitely going to have limitations. But uh, with, you know, more powerful hardware, I really hope that MMOs will become more of a relevant thing on what's called console so yeah definitely i think uh at least for the next generation or maybe even the generation afterwards depending on how powerful the next gen of system is uh, from what we already what we already see with the wii u which is not that much of an upgrade from uh, the ps3 and xbox 360 it really might not actually happen next gen but we'll see what happens and when sony or xbox or sorry not sony sony and microsoft uh, announce their next platform so going along with the lines of an mmo i i have I was called absolutely no idea what like actual genre it's gonna be uh, you know again FPS is obviously the most popular thing right now but is that gonna transition well onto like you know an MMO setting onto the next onto the next generation and pe what people still care for FPS is on the next generation uh, you can, we can we can really only speculate for things like that uh, you would I, I personally think, you know, MMOs, if, if it does become really relevant uh, on consoles, I would like it to be, you know, MMORPGs. But again, uh, what makes Call of Duty so popular and what makes it so popular today is just because of its pick up and play. So really, if you want to go for an MMORPG on the consoles, it might be a new experience and hardcore players might really dig it. But for the general masses, to, me, uh, to make it, you know, to be the next system seller, I really don't think an RPG is just possible uh, to... To become you know a system seller uh, it needs to be something pick up and play and again that doesn't mean that developers can't do that it doesn't mean that they they can't make a rpg that's actually pick up and play but i, I just think it'll be you know a lot harder to do so so in all honesty i think uh what what's going to become really prevalent what's going to become the system seller in the next generation is actually casual games in general and uh you know that that's the sad truth because as a hardcore gamer myself i wish you know more people would get you know into hardcore gaming and still just playing all these casual games but really to become a really system massive seller uh casual games is really the way to go as you can already tell you know with ios devices uh, android whatever whatever angry birds all that those games are probably making almost around the same money as call of duty if they weren't selling it for a buck each uh, angry birds would definitely be making more money than call of duty so again back to point that's probably the way developers go are gonna go for uh for next generation to become its system seller they're gonna go with something that's incredibly casual it's cheaper and very easy to pick up and play which can bring us to like another question where <laughs> is are there even are there even going to be you know what's it called consoles after the next generation are people even going to bother buying dedicated machines to play games anymore when it's so easy uh to just get a game up on your iphone on your android phone to play a game like that and uh you know i'll get i'll get into i'll, let's go, I'll get into that another time because we're just bringing on a lot more subjects now uh about you know how games are like generally but yeah uh if you guys look at the chart now like casual games on ios is uh and android sorry android yeah um there's a lot more casual games than actual what's it called full-fledged triple a titles so really that's probably gonna the way it's gonna go to be honest for next gen for the system seller it's gonna be something that's a lot casual and you know call of duty is already a really damn casual game like i said anyone uh even if they're not good at fps's or not can pick up and play and just start playing call of duty and have a great deal of fun with it
So, yeah, um, that's all I really have to talk about uh, for the next, what's it called, Generations Killer App or System Seller. Again, I could talk more about it if I really want to get in depth with, uh, you know, consoles being consoles themselves if if there is going to be another console or generation after next generation if if it's even worthwhile for developers to do that anymore uh, so i won't rant on too much more about that but basically uh in review what i want to really just say overall is what i think for the next generation system seller will be you know something along the lines of mmo everybody will be able to hop onto something big and play together something huge and uh it's going to be something casual something um, that's easy to pick up and play i really have no clue uh what kind of genre it'll be i don't think it'll be an fps anymore i don't think it'll be an rpg so really i don't know what they're going to do with an mmo but um those are just some speculations but i'm pretty sure it will be something along the lines of an MMO casual style type of game. Alright, so that'll be it for now. I won't bore you guys for uh, too much longer. Again, this is some Sonic Generations gameplay in the background. I thought it would just, you know, upload something different. Picked this game up on uh, a Steam sale the other day. Thought it's pretty fun. I, you know, really enjoyed Sonic as a kid. And uh, I never really had a Sonic game in a while. So, having a lot of fun with this game. But anyway, that'll be it for now. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Sean. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.